it's imperative that the Mets get uh, strong performances over the next four days in particular out of three of their seven starters that will be going. Two tonight, one tomorrow night, and then a doubleheader on Thursday and Friday. Got to take them at least into the seventh inning, give the bullpen a breather. There is no way, in my opinion, that the Mets uh, want to face the Arizona Diamondbacks on Saturday with a very fatigued bullpen. Because keep in mind, the Mets' next off day, September 3rd, they go on the coast right after this uh, dreadful uh, spate of games that they're playing here at Shea. So Bob Abadaka's pitching staff will be asked to do some mighty work here for the New York Mets, led by, of course, this man. The left-hander, Al Leiter, 32 years old, looking for his 12th win of the year. He comes in with an ERA third best in the league. Here at home, he has gone 5-2 and two this season. He'll try and get victory number 12 against the Rockies. And the lineup for the Rockies is brought to you by your Jeep and Eagle dealer. Leading off center fielder, Daryl Hamilton, followed by the shortstop, Nafi Perez. Larry Walker, the right fielder. Gary mentioned, as he did, but Dante Bichette. Vinny Castilla, the third baseman, batting fifth. Todd Helton will play first and hit sixth. Second baseman Mike Lansing batting seventh. Kurt Van Waring will be behind the plate and hit eighth. Pedro Estacio, for whom the Rockies traded exactly one year ago today. Eric Young going to the Dodgers. Estacio to the Rockies. Take a look defensively for the New York Mets here in game one. Hundley McRae and Tony Phillips in the outfield. Alfonso Ordonez Lopez starts at second base in game one. And John Olerud at first. Mike Piazza will be behind the plate with Leiter on the mound. Our umpiring crew, Dana DeMuth, has the plate for this one. Ed Montague, C.B. Buckner, and Paul Scribner, the umpires for this two-game day. It is overcast here. Wind is blowing in or a bit to right. Uh, it was a beautiful morning in New York, but very humid. A very typical late summer day. There are some showers around as we start this game. And the pitch is taken up high for a ball as Daryl Hamilton, their center fielder, leads it off against the Mets. He's got good speed. He'll draw Edgardo Alfonso in on the grass at third base, hitting 297 on the year, and puts that one to Todd Hundley. Todd's got it. Two pitches, one out here in the first inning. New York area expecting two fronts in the last three days. So the back of the first front is gone, and the front of the second front is here. And the baseball front is somehow going to try and work its way through those two, or yeah. in the middle of them, because <laughs> the New York Mets got to get these games in. And there you see, you can see how muggy, humid weather it is just by looking at that haze. Leiter gets the first man out. Nafi Perez up now. Perez has been hot at the plate. This is the only switch hitter in the, not only in the lineup, the only switch hitter on their roster, in fact. Nafi Perez, who's had a very fine season at shortstop. Leiter turns it over outside, doing ball two, two balls and no strikes. What a season for Leiter. He comes in having surrendered only three home runs, fewest home runs for nine inning in the league, along with the third best ERA, sixth in strikeouts for nine innings. 2 0 delivery yeah. off the fist. Foul back. Piazza will not have a play on it. You may see the reaction of, of uh, not only Mike Piazza, but the reactions of the outfielders on this gloomy day. Uh, twilight time, and fly balls could be a problem for both teams. Mike could not pick up that foul ball. And you saw Todd Hundley did not get a good jump on that no. one either. Left field. 2-1 the count. Lighters fastball. Medium line drive to third. Edgardo Alfonso playing in puts it away. Perez is retired. Two down. It's interesting, Gary, how many times you've used that phrase this year with Al Lighter pitching. Because what looks like a liner is not really. I mean, it's got the trajectory of a line drive. But a lot of trademark shots off Al Leiter. Take you back to Jim Leland's comment to us this spring that Al Leiter last year kept the ball off the fat part of the bat more than any other pitcher on his world champion staff. And that's saying something. Boy, he's done it again this year with the Mets. There's the fastball to Larry Walker. Walker, we mentioned, third in average. He is two for two. Lifetime against Al Leiter. Walker against left-handers hitting 314. He's 
There are some players here in this game that we're going to talk about offensively and Walker is one of them who are having just magnificent seasons. Larry Walker big numbers all the way around. Swung on and missed. Great off speed delivery by Leiter one and two. Of all who may get the least of the recognition among those great hitters Vinny Castilla may be the one who's having the best overall year. I mean he is putting up some numbers that are unbelievable. One two delivered to Larry Walker up high with a fastball that time two and two. Colorado getting the day off of course as well yesterday after being in here on after their game Sunday Mets getting back early yesterday morning. Line to left Todd Hundley coming and off his glove misplayed it'll roll off the glove not too far and Larry Walker will go into second base. So it'll be an error charged on Todd Hundley on a line drive two balls hit to him here this inning it's the fifth error he's committed. This ball hit very hard and it hit the heel of the glove. I think judging how hard the ball was hit. Obviously one of Todd's problems. That ball clearly mishandled by Todd Hundley. He gets the error. So Walker's on at second base and uh, that will give Dante Bichette a chance at the plate. Dangerous early situation. With Walker at second Bichette leads the majors with 177 hits this year. And Leiter's fastball is inside to him. Second in average fourth in RBI's first in hits and is on a seven game hit streak. And Dante Bichette's 399 with runners in scoring position this year. Takes the off speed delivery in the inside corner. One ball one strike. So this is a guy in the Rockies lineup who can beat you anytime but right now he is really dangerous to go after. And there's somebody in scoring position. One one count. Walker off second will go back. And that will bring Piazza out. Check on the signs. Yeah Al Leiter actually brought Mike out there. He called for Piazza to go out there. And even if you have a, uh, a doubt that the runner at second is giving location or pitches away then you change the signs or the very fact that you have a meeting on the mound indicative to the runner at second. Uh oh they're doing something different. That's all you have to do. Larry Walker was getting a huge lead out there. I'm not sure that had anything to do with the conference, but I, I don't think so. Walker's not going anywhere. No, not with two outs. Lopez moves over a bit towards second base, though. This met second baseman squeezing the middle a bit more now on Dante Bichette. And the 1 1 delivery. And Leiter's on the outside corner with it. One and two. Fastball inside, two change ups away. Look for the heater back inside. And that's what Gary. Alluded to Dante Bichette behind Wally Joyner of the San Diego Padres. Javier Lopez, third place. What a remarkable year he's had. He's been up there all year. That's yeah. not a fluke. One two count. And Bichette fights off the inside pitch. It remains one and two. That's where Leiter wants to get him. As Timmy said, inside. That's why this year right handers are hitting 208 off Al Leiter. He can chew you up inside. Wow. Left hander holding right handers to a 208 average. Left handers hit 272 of him. 1 2 delivery again with two down. Fastball inside. Walker's on at second base, reaching on the air. Bichette trying to get him home. Rockies, six wins, four losses in their last 10. Been out of it for a long time. Five games above 500 since the All Star break. Again, 2 2. Just fought off the inside pitch. Now that's indicative of the type of year that Bichette is having. Two nasty cut fastballs inside. He fouled one back and he just got a piece of that one. When you're hitting well and you're locked in, you foul off the tough pitches as Bichette did on this one. That is nasty to stay alive. Had to take his top hand off so it didn't get hit. <laughs> Two balls, two strike count. 
Swung on and missed. Got him away. So Leiter gets the strikeout. No runs, no hits, and error. And a base runner left on at second. Rockies do not score. Mets coming up after this from Nobody Beats the Wiz. yet? Then get to the summer of fun and nobody beats the whiz. Buy the fun stuff you want and get more fun stuff like special offers, tickets to games, Madison Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall with select purchases. See newspaper for details. Nobody beats the whiz. A cable vision company. With a $3.99 a month lease, plenty of cars in stock and new ones arriving all the time, it's never been easier to get your hands on a Katerra. But once you've experienced Katerra's European performance and luxury, you may never want to let go. Katerra, oh, 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 oh. the caddy that zigs. See your authorized Cadillac Katerra dealer today. A month ago, my son Charlie drew a family portrait. I was the one on the couch. That's when I started taking Ginsana, a natural supplement. Ginsana every day gives me energy that lasts. Yeah! Clinical proof says the pure ginseng in Ginsana helps my body use oxygen better to keep my natural energy going. All I know is I can feel it. And with more energy to go around, <laughs> there's more of me to go around. Find the energy. Feel your Ginsana. You can't move! Never! Welcome back, everybody, as the Mets will get their chance now. And Pedro Astacio, the veteran, chose to work here in game one. Uh, he was actually supposed to be pitching in game uh, two, but Astacio doesn't like waiting around in a doubleheader for the second game. So Don Baylor said, all right, go get him. 11 and 11 on the year. And the Mets lineup is brought to you by your Tri-State Quality Ford dealer. Tony Phillips has been... Quite an asset to the Mets since arriving a couple of weeks ago. Edgardo Alfonso batting second, followed by the league's leading hitter. Mike Piazza will hit fourth. Brian McCray has had a terrific two months. Todd Hunley has struggled at the plate. He'll bat sixth. Louis Lopez, Ray Ordonez, the shortstop, hitting eighth, and Al Leiter batting ninth. Defensively for Colorado, and it has caused them some problems this year. In the outfield, Bichette. Not Hamilton in center, Larry Walker in right. Castilla, Nathy Perez, Mike Lansing, and Todd Helton, the rookie at first base, man wearing and Astacio will form the battery for game one. Don Baylor, question mark, of course, for next season as manager of this club, whether or not he'll survive a year where this club's going to be as below 500, 10 games below it right now. Stasio goes to work on Tony Phillips, up high for a ball. Stasio sinking fastball, curve, changeup. He's been hit hard this year. As Timmy mentioned, Tony Phillips has done the job for the New York Mets since coming over. 2 0 count. Talk to Tony today about that stance. We talk about it so much. I asked us, where did you get that from? Have you always hit that way? He said, no. Did that when I got to Detroit and they put me in the leadoff spot. And of course, the next question is why? And he said, one reason only try and draw walks he said all I was trying to do was shrink the strike zone like a needle through a keyhole yep that's the only reason I changed it 3 0 delivery and it's worked for him he credits Walt Reniak as being the man who taught him how to hit overall but he said Reniak had nothing to do with this particular stance 3 1 delivery to Phillips and a strike on the outside corner from Astacio 3 and 2. Twelve walks, twelve strikeouts for the switch hitter. And as we've talked about, a very fine on base percentage at 394, and he keeps it up. 3 2 base hit center field. Hamilton will be up with it, and Tony Phillips. It's a leadoff single for the Mets. Now it's true that that was his first swing, but his first swing came on his sixth pitch. And whenever a pitcher falls behind and has to throw a strike, it's not the strike that he wants to throw. It's a fastball that he guides into the strike zone, and Phillips rips it up the middle. You talk about a smart hitter and a guy who uses all of his ability, Tony Phillips. 
He's on at first base and Edgardo Alfonso. Mets try and jump out early here. Alfonso, 16 for 42 on the road trip, now batting at 272 on the year. Continuing to push that average up. That was a 405 average on the road trip where the Mets went six and three, winning two out of three in each of the three stops. Foul back and a two strike count. Chicago Cubs will be at home tonight, though, as St. Louis will be in town against Chicago. The McGuire Sosa matchup, of course, which is drawing enormous interest around baseball as the two home run hitters go after one another. But that will be a night game, so we'll be posting you on the scores on that one during game two. Merker and Traxel are the scheduled starters in that game. One ball, two strike count on Alfonso. 28 year old right hander Pedro Estacio went 12 and 10 last year 11 and 11 right now. Estacio's walked a lot of hitters uh, this year he's walked 60 in 162 innings that is just one shy of the total number of walks he gave up all last year in 202 innings. That has hurt him this year and Alfonso takes the time out. And again uh, Gary a lot of times the walks are not indicative of how many times a pitcher falls behind hitters and comes into the strike zone throws predictable pitches things like that. Add up a numbers Timmy and it, it's amazing he's won 11 games this year. I mean mm -hmm. he's he's given up 20 more hits than he's innings pitched 60 walks and he struck out 132 but he's only got a two to one ratio there. It's not good and he's hit more batters than anyone else in the league. And almost he does add another one. <laughs> Timing is everything. That is the 15th hit batter by Astacio this year. Folks I am sitting up here with a psychic. We got a number we'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> That'd be great to advertise right behind the home plate. Be perfect. <laughs> Gary Thorne 1 800. <laughs> yes 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 yes. <laughs> There it is. There it right is. There. That's it. That's right it, there. folks. You can call that number. Gary Thorne Psychic. Psychic to the booths. Carrot cards, tea leaves, palms, feet. <laughs> Having fun yet? <laughs> John Olerud. <laughs> Stasio's got himself in a hole in a hurry. Single and a hit batter. Now he faces the league's leading hitter at 352. Jan Olerud starting the day seven points ahead of Colorado's Dante Bichette. Struck out in his first at bat. Tony Phillips, second base, Alfonso at first. And Astacio will back off. I think with Olerud locked in like he is, and with Astacio, all of a sudden. His focus has got to be on the strike zone. First pitch to John was a strike. Fell behind to Phillips and then hit Alfonso. I'd put the hit and run on right now. That way you stay out of the double play. The only problems that the Mets have had with first and second, nobody out. And John up there has been the double play ball. And there you see Olrud, Bichette, and Walker, the top three hitters in the National League. John has grounded into 12 double plays this year. Off speed delivery by Estacio missed. Tried the change up. Cookie Rojas, that's third base coach. Two ball, one strike count on Olerud. You could see Cookie Rojas not only allowing Olerud to see him, but Tony Phillips at second base also, in case something were on with the 2 1 count. 2 1 runners not going, and Olerud fouls it off. That'll even the count up two balls and two strikes. Olerud is one for nine lifetime against the right hander Pedro Estacio in a big moment early in this game. Rockies play Olerud to go the other way. Daryl Hamilton center fielder has moved in a couple of steps and uh, three or four steps over towards left. That fans have seen so often Olerud will shoot that ball out to left field. And got jammed that time. This is going to be a tough play. Nobody at first. They will get the out at second. 
Estacio is not going to get over in first base to cover anything there, so the out will come from Alfonso. Perez getting over to cover. The only play they had. I have never seen a first baseman range this far towards second. Look at Todd Helton. Look at him. Alfonso held up for the ball. I don't think Alfonso thought there would be a play on at second base because had Lansing fielded the ball, Olerud's jammed on the play. Had Lansing fielded the ball, his only play would have been to first base, and nobody was there. That's a remarkable play by Todd Helton. A rookie first baseman. First and third, one down, and Mike Piazza. I couldn't believe to me. Pedro Estacio made no effort no. to get over to first base. None. He kind of dribbled over three or four steps and then stopped. There wasn't anybody covering first base. Not that they would have had a chance at two on that. But no, no, no. But he's got to get over there. Had Lansing fielded the ball, then you have a, then you have a shot at Olerud at first base. That's your only play. Right over the head that time of Tony Phillips, the lead runner. John Olerud going back to first base, reaching on the fielder's choice. The Piazza with one away, one ball, one strike count. Piazza is hitting 266 with runners in scoring position since coming to the Mets an overall 327 average 35 RBIs in this is 72nd game off the fist that'll fall in for a base hit Tony Phillips will score holding on is all at second base Piazza comes through in a one nothing Met lead. RBI number 71 and he got it against his old battery mate Pedro Stasio. It is pretty clear that the National League pitchers, the book on Piazza, pitch him inside. Mike is so strong that he did get the bat head out, kind of nudge it into left field. Obviously, Bichette in left was playing very deep, so Got he to. had yep. no chance to get that. And a strike on the outside corner to Brian McRae. Two on, one down, a run in. Yats are continuing those big numbers against the Rockies in 65 games, just shy of 400. Inside to McRae. Switch hitter for the Mets, 234 right and 277 left. Brian McRae on the year, 18 home runs and 17 of those hit from this side of the plate. It is really dark and the umbrellas are up. Strike on the outside corner, one ball, two strikes. A little rain coming down. It poured in New York uh, yesterday around the metropolitan area all day and into the night. And it was needed rain. It had not rained here for about six weeks. One two delivery. Stasio misses inside with it. Two and two on McRae. These two teams have got to get one game in tonight. Play a doubleheader tomorrow, but you've got to get one in tonight because the Mets do not go back to Denver this year. 2-2 delivery by Astacio, foul back by McRae. And there is some lightning about as well. Two balls, two strikes on McRae. Man upstairs moving furniture and taking pictures at yes, the same at time. Same time. Yes. There goes the furniture. Yeah. That was the couch. Drop something. Or the woman. Here's the 2-2 to McRae. That one hit in the air to right field, Larry Walker. Runners halfway. Olerud will go back to second base. McRae's retired on the fly ball out. And there are two down. Todd Hundley. See that shot from high home right there. Right there. Todd Hundley is hitting best when he thinks about left center field because then when he gets an inside fastball he doesn't pull a foul he hits it fair with authority Tom he, McCraw the old uh, pitching coach who's now with Houston used to use that approach with Todd and the batting coach I should say and uh, that to me made a lot of sense for for a hitter like Todd Hundley he was really cracking the ball in batting practice today harder maybe than he's hit for a while and uh, what a huge help it would be for the Mets to have Hundley get that bat going. He's had only four hits in his last 28 at-bats on the road trip. 
They'll switch hitting, of course. Todd just 183, 34th game back with the Mets. And you notice how the fans respond to him. He made the error in the first inning in left field. There's a deep appreciation by Met fans about the fact he was willing to go out there and change positions. Curveball hangs up high two and one. Todd may be one of the few ball players in the, in New York who actually draws a break when he makes an error from the fans. He doesn't hear much. And a lot of bad names hung out there for him. Two one count two on two down and a run in. Stasio's fastball catches the inside corner two and two. Todd thought it was inside but that was a tailing fastball that caught the inside part. Right back in you saw the movement on that ball. Two 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 to Hundley. Breaking ball. That one missed down low and the count is full on Todd Hundley. Lopez starting at second base today in the game one. I expect to see in game two. Three two count. Two away runners will be going Ola Rude and Piazza. Foul back they'll go back. Stasio's really been tagged this year. Opposing hitters are hitting 280 off him. Given up 27 home runs. That is the third highest number of home runs in the National League. Brian Anderson of the Diamondbacks has given up 29 and Willie Blair of the Mets but mostly with the Diamondbacks has given up 28. Three two count. Runners go strike three called inside corner. Hundley unhappy with both of those called strikes. The Mets however pick up a run on two hits they leave two on back after this from infinity. It began as the product of meticulous Japanese design but it was sent to Europe for finishing school it was tested on Austria's Alpine roads refined on Germany's autobahns and chased on England's racetracks. Now the car that's proven itself in Europe is crossing the pond. Introducing the all new Infiniti G20. Born in Japan, educated in Europe, now available in America. This summer. That's your man! America's most wanted man. <laughs> will take any risk mm -hmm. to prove his innocence. <laughs> Wrongfully accused. It's not just a movie. It's every movie. I'm as sure about that as I am that that's an anaconda. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, August 21st. Hey, Mets fans, Pepsi invites you to show up at Shea on Fridays for free admission to the Pepsi picnic area. The first 600 fans with a Pepsi can or bottle will be admitted to the Pepsi picnic area at Shea Stadium for free. Have a great night with your friends and family and enjoy the game from the left field bleachers. The Friday night action continues on August 21st as the Mets take on the St. Louis Cardinals in a twi-night doubleheader. So bring a Pepsi and show up at Shea for free. We talked about Todd Hunley thinking about that lane in left center field and he hits better. Well, there's nobody, no left-hander in the National League that works both lanes of the plate better than lighter. The sequence, seven pitches to Dante Bichette to end the first. Fastball misses inside. Then a changeup evens the count, 1-1. One, one. Another changeup outside part. One ball, two strikes. Now Bichette fouls off a pitch, a tough fastball inside. He takes a fastball high, and then he fouls off a lethal fastball inside. And watch the lane, outside lane, Primrose lane for our lighter. Jerry Walker, 1959. You got it, baby. Nice going. You were spinning platters about this. One, one of my favorite songs. Mine, too. I didn't know that. Benny Castilla. And the pitchers take it inside. Ball one from lighter. So touchy. Primrose Lane. <laughs> Life's a holiday. Touch him. 1 0 count. Well, there goes half our audience. <laughs> Inside with that, 
Ed Montague says he did not go around on that. Two balls and no strikes. That wasn't Larry Walker, but Jerry Walker. Right? Jerry Walker. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Benny Castilla, 36 home runs, 109 runs batted in. Only Sammy Sosa is ahead of him in RBI. Sosa now with 119. And, of course, Sosa's tied McGuire in home runs with 47. Castilla's fifth in homers with 36. Wind uh, really whipping up here as the squall goes by. And the pitch is up high. Castilla's on. Don't see many of those when lighter's on. Only the 53rd walk he's given up in 134 innings, but it is a leadoff walk here to Vinny Castillo. Get the feeling Mother Nature's just saying to the Mets, so you want to go to postseason, huh? <laughs> well, you're going to have to earn it. <laughs> Pete Flynn uh, and Ed Montague, Ed's the crew chief, first base umpire this evening, talking things over, and obviously, uh, will do everything they can to get at least one in and hopefully two. Be reading the radar all day. Montague will stay abreast of the weather situation. Rookie Todd Helton leading rookie hitter in the National League. And a strike taken on the inside corner to him. One ball one strike runner first nobody out. Blowing in now but it'll be all over the place here. This afternoon with these storms around. One one the count. Way inside. One of the primary concerns that I saw Montague is lightning. It's not the rain, it's the lightning. You got guys out there in the field. Montague's moved over to talk with the first base coach. This is the big decision for him. You don't want guys out there if there's lightning about. Then you got a chance, obviously, for real serious business. Yet another case against the aluminum bat. There you go. Swung on, hit in the air to left center field. Into the raindrops, Todd Hundley. Game invented by Ben Franklin, as many of you probably know. When he went out and flew a kite and said strike one. <laughs> this is only the second inning of a doubleheader. Can you imagine? <laughs> Good Lord. Out the newsroom. I think they got a lot of stuff built up for today. A lot of a lot of stories. Well, by the way, I, I didn't tell you that uh, I am only doing this double header uh, <laughs> if my name is not used. I am anonymous tonight. I, I will be doing this double header in anonymity. Would that have anything to do with the uh, sources not quoted regarding? Sources not quoted in Washington uh, last night, yesterday, and this morning has me in that anonymous mode, pal. You're it. Yep. You. Here with my anonymous partner on a rainy day. <laughs> Mike Lansing takes the pitch inside. Read the front section of the New York Times today. I have never seen in their coverage of anything in Washington with so many anonymous, anonymous quotes. <laughs> Only elected to be quoted if his name wasn't used or her name wasn't used. My goodness. Bounce that one. Runner will go. And Leiter's having trouble here this inning. Struggling to find the strike zone, a wild pitch charge to Leiter, and that moves Castilla down to second base. Mike Piazza did what he could. Mike moving to his left, but watch the high hop the ball takes, bouncing up off the forearm of Piazza. Third wild pitch on the season by Leiter. Castilla now in scoring position. Lansing, who's got a nine game hit streak. Have the opportunity for the RBI. Hitting 277. And that's off the fist. Todd Huntley again. He's got it. Two down. Remember the line drive Navy Perez hit in the first inning? It's a similar fly ball by Mike Lansing. You go back and you're shaking your head. Piazza sitting outside, but this running fastball, you just, he breaks the bat on that one. I'm telling you, he can chew up some lumber. It's going to be a busy day in left field, Timmy, by the looks of things. That's the fourth ball hit to Todd Hunley of the seven hitters who've been up. Two down. Lansing will need new lumber next time. Curtin Manwaring takes it inside for a ball. Now, interesting that Bobby Valentine, uh, 
obviously here in game one with Al Leiter pitching not figuring there's going to be a whole lot of fly balls probably. That's a good point. As Hundley in yeah. left field maybe mm -hmm. <laughs> rethinking that at the minute. That's not a knock on Todd. That's just a fact. Todd knows he struggles out there and normally he'll be in. He's battling actually you believe the sun which is yeah. shining through some clouds from behind home plate. One one. He does not have as you see the sunglasses out there with him. It was almost dark when they went out off the fist fouled off one ball two strike count. Wow look at that. He's really moving today. Well I don't think Todd will be affected if a fly balls hit that way. However I do think Tony Phillips could be affected. We have seen balls lost in right field late on Sunday afternoon games at uh, at Sun and who's going to wear sunglasses on a day like today. I mean it's raining. Weird, weird afternoon. You got to earn postseason. <laughs> One, two delivery to Manwaring. Just missed outside. Two balls, two strikes. Colorado catcher. 21 RBIs. Trying to tie the ball game up with a base hit. He's got Castillo on at second. Lighter. Back inside, had him set up for the pitch, missed it. Three balls, two strikes. Rain stops for the moment. The sun continues to shine to right. 3 2 delivery. And that one off the fist. Rayardonia is up with it. And that will do it. So, despite a leadoff walk, Rockies cannot convert. They leave a runner on at second base. Mets up back after this from the United States Postal Service. Ship your package in two days with FedEx. And you run into seven different price zones. Ship your package in two days with UPS. And you'll run into seven different price zones. Ship your package in two to three days with priority mail. And there's just one price zone. So, what's your priority? Priority mail from the U.S. Postal Service. Backed by popular demand, the Nissan early model year-end clearance has been extended. Right now, with every new 98 Nissan in America, get an amazing $2,000 customer cash or 0% APR financing. Like a new Maxima, a new Pathfinder, or a new Quest. And get $2,000 customer cash or 0% APR. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Visit a Nissan retailer today and choose your Nissan. This $2,000 or 0% APR offer absolutely ends August 31st. Get yours. It's your money Friday, August 28th at 8, only on UPN 9. Run right on two hits for the Mets. Pedro Stasio back out. And he'll be facing Lopez, Ordonez, and uh, Leiter. New York Mets have won this season in doubleheaders, have done really well. They've lost only one doubleheader and have come away with the uh, wins in three. New York Mets 3-1 in doubleheaders this year. Very unusual because normally, obviously, doubleheaders end up in splits. Not that way this year for New York. Traditionally, uh, the Mets have not done well in doubleheaders. As a matter of fact, the three doubleheader wins this year, the most since 1986, a year in which they won four DHs. They took a couple from the uh, Chicago Cubs, two from the Brewers, lost two to San Diego. And a strike on the inside corner to Lopez. Nope. Squall moves over for the moment anyway. Sun comes out and not a bad day all of a sudden. Lopez two for his last 13. Nubs that one foul outside of third base. Anastasio goes ahead on the count. Two strikes. Bobby Jones will be making the starting game two looking for his ninth win of the season. 
And Thompson will be on the mound in game two for the Rockies. Switching places, as we said, with Estacio for this doubleheader. 0 2 delivery. Outside, one ball, two strikes on Lopez. Pitching has been the bane for these Rockies as their ERA is dead last in the National League. One, two inside corner, and not much question about that one. Same pitch that Pistachio struck out Todd Hunley on to end the bottom of the first inning. That tailing fastball. So if you're a left hander, second time through the lineup, somewhere in a sequence of pitches, they'll start looking for that pitch. See that Taylor right there? Taylor made for Pistacio. Good movement on that. Pistacio. Did I say Pistacio? Yeah, you did, but uh, I like Pistacio. You must be nuts. <laughs> must be. Sorry. That's all right. Ray Ardonez with one down, nobody on. Ardonez upping his average here during the road trip. Fouls that one back. 260 on the season now. He's still not drawing a lot of walks which he tried to he wanted to pick up a bit on this year walking only 17 times strikeout so 44 not bad He's hitting the ball two ball one strike count at break in spring training and th and that's something you have to stick to if you say if Ray Ardonia hits 240 to 250 you know he's going to play that type of shortstop. Stasio couldn't get it. Lansing does. Running throw over to Helton. They've got him two down. Then you, uh, you you break spring training. You say if he hits 240 to 250, then it's going to be a great year. Well, then later in the year, you see him hit 260 and say, well, you know, had he done this, had he done that, he'd have been hitting a little better. But you got to take what he can give. And he has given the Mets a, a, uh, a very, very good offensive season considering what he contributes defensively. 60 average. There'll be nobody arguing. Nobody. Al Leiter up. Pitcher against pitcher here. Al's had four hits in 37 at bats this season. One double. The extra base hit he's picked up. Dasio gets the outside corner with that one. One ball, one strike. Pedro Stasio, six and five lifetime against New York, has lost to them twice this season. The New York Mets will try and Add to that here today. Question largely of control for Stasio as to how effective he'll be in any given game. Falls behind here on Al Leiter, three balls and one strike. And he walks the opposing pitcher. Stasio surrenders the free pass with two down here in the second inning. First walk he's given up. That'll force him to go to the top of the order and face Tony Phillips. Lighter on at first base. Stasio gave up a single to Phillips. And Tony fouls that pitch back. Strike one on Phillips. I was amazed at uh, what Tony you said you talked to him I didn't uh, I didn't talk to him at the same time but Tony telling me uh, before the game that he didn't even think about baseball until two days before he signed with the Toronto Blue Jays wasn't working out nothing no spring training and then he had his agent call Gord Ash the general manager of the Toronto Blue Jays in late June and two days later he was signed by the Blue Jays and went to Syracuse it took him two and a half weeks to get in shape and uh, you know you talk about a remarkable athlete at the age of 39 years old. Oh two deliveries up high to him. And I don't uh, I'm not one who believes that avoiding the issues on some of these things everyone knows I think the off field problems Tony oh, went absolutely. through. It was drugs and he had yep. to get that taken care of and right. he's got to keep taking care of it. He's going to make a living here in, uh, in the game. Yep. One two delivery. Big yacker right there but it missed. Two balls two strikes and the off speed curve ball to Tony Phillips. But you like to see the good stories. I mean you hope it works. If he can do that he can be a model of sorts having nothing to do with baseball. Two two count not holding at first base with lighter there. 
And gone. Nastasio gets the strikeout. Foul tip. Held on to by Mad Waring. Pedro Nastasio now with three strikeouts in the first two innings. Mets on top. Back after this from Chrysler. Summer means clearance at your Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Clearance means big factory authorized cash back. Get a thousand cash back on Chrysler Sebring Coupe and get low lease rates on Sebring Convertible. Clearance means bigger cash back. Get 1500 cash back on Chrysler Cirrus. Rank best entry midsize car and in initial quality by JD Power and Associates. Or get 1500 cash back on Plymouth Neon. Summer means clearance. Clearance means savings at your Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Dude, get down. It's my chair. Let's go. I'm not playing games. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Oh, dude. <laughs> He's got him right where he wants it. Just a bit outside. Hey, those dog obedience classes really paid off. Could you have money coming your way and not even know it? I have money coming to me. Ernie Anastas and Brenda Blackman are reuniting people just like you with long-forgotten cash. Insurance policy stocks on cash checks. Do you want the money? Absolutely. Who wouldn't? We'll show you how to go online with the government agencies holding your money. If your name's on the list, you could be laughing all the way to the bank. It's your money. Friday, August 28th at 8, only on UPN 9. Welcome back to Shea, everybody. Gary Thorne, Tim McCarver, first of two. We've got them both for you right here on UPN 9 today. As the Mets, after the rainout last night, play the doubleheader against Colorado. Single game tomorrow, then doubleheaders Thursday and Friday against the Cardinals. Today's game being brought to you by Budweiser Brewery Fresh Budweiser, the official beer of Major League Baseball. That's the. Tr Al Leiter ready to go here. That rain in the last inning looked like the ball was slipping a bit on him as he had trouble with his control. Now it has stopped. It didn't rain very much, just enough to make baseball a little wet. Pedro Astacio leads it off here. Pitcher for the Rockies. Getting the time at bat. He's had a total of six hits, a couple of doubles amongst them. He's behind quickly, 0 2. Leiter has walked once, struck out one. And gets him easily. Two strikeouts for Leiter. One away here in the third inning. Eight point three strikeouts per nine innings. But Leiter has averaged this year in that eleven and four mark. One down and Daryl Hamilton the leadoff batter showing bunt takes an inside corner strike. Wide to left his first time up. Leiter rocking along here and this inning getting it back and ready to throw it one ball one strike Bonzo stays in at third base a bit towards first Olerud oh what a play fair ball and gets the out John Olerud what made the play more difficult he was playing Hamilton in because of that attempted bunt after the first pitch Watch John ranging right over the bag. Momentum carries him near the first base coaching box, and he elects to dive back to get Hamilton. Fine play by Olroot. Mr. Quick Feet down there. Two down. Nafi Perez hitting a 285. Lined out his first time up, soft liner to third. This time he fouls it off. Strike one. Perez some pop for a guy at the top of the order. He's had eight home runs. Again playing in third base Alfonso this one popped up no play for Piazza though strike two 
See, Perez uh, miffed at himself, thinking that he missed a pitch. You could see him bobbing that head up and down. But this is a lot tougher pitch to hit than Nafee thinks. Not only is it hard, but it's heavy, too. That's the thing about lighter. He throws that slider that almost is two pitches in one. It's a slider and a sinker. Rarely does a cut fastball uh, have that heaviness that lighter's fastball does. That's why he gets so many ground ball outs. Right. We were talking about earlier. 0-2 delivery. Nathan Perez pops this one up. Again back and again no play. You know, one thing that uh, hitters do when they face lighter, they say, well, he's throwing that cutter. What I have to do is get the bat head out. Well, you've taken away one of the essentials in hitting when they think that way because waiting is essential to good hitting. So if they're thinking, I've got to get the bat head out, then you got them at least halfway thinking the wrong thing. 0-2 oh, again's up high with a fastball. Two balls and two strikes. Perez only 23 years old. Real fine speed. He finished last year second in triples. Up there again this season in three baggers. He can leg him out. 1-2 broken bat center field. And that'll be a base hit in front of Brian McRae. So Perez picks up a two-out single here in the third inning. And the Rockies have their first hit of the ballgame. Nathie Perez on at first base and trailing one nothing. Larry Walker coming up. Walker reached on the air. Todd Hundley dropping the line drive to left field in his first at bat. Ended up on second base. Only three of his 17 home runs have been against left handers but a good average against them. 314. Starts him outside ball one to Walker. Take a look down to third checking to see whether Perez might be going four stolen bases. Nafi Perez inside this time too far two balls and no strikes. Dean Glenn, third base coach for the Rockies. Not a time to run right here. Two outs, a 2 0 count to Walker. You want a power hitter to choose his pitch. Olerud gets back over to cover. It's a dangerous situation for John Olerud here. I mean, Walker can sting a ball, and you see where Olerud is playing in front of the runner. 2 0 count. Inside again, and it's ball three. Three and oh on Larry Walker. Forty five walks, 47 strikeouts. Not many of either for a guy who gets as many at bats as Walker does. Not going up there looking for walks. Three oh count. He probably have a green light right here. Taking all the way. Strike on the inside corner, three and one. Three one pitch again to left field. Again, Todd Hundley, only this time he's got no runs, a base hit, one left on, three stranded, one in each inning so far by the Rockies, who are trailing the Mets one nothing. Back after this from Nobody Beats the Wiz. Having fun yet? Then get to the summer of fun and nobody beats the whiz. Buy the fun stuff you want and get more fun stuff, like special offers, tickets to games, Madison Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall, with select purchases. See newspaper for details. Nobody beats the whiz. A cable vision company. 
No matter how high the thermometer climbs or how sticky the humidity gets, nothing will be hotter this summer than the deals you'll get during Jeep summer days. Like a zero-down 319-a-month Grand Cherokee Laredo lease with only 814 due at signing. Or during summer days, take advantage of low 1.9% financing. But you'd better hurry in because deals this incredibly hot are bound to cool down fast. Check out this 319 lease at your dealer. I believe in the 98 Met. Show up at Shea on Sunday, August 23rd for Gap Growth Chart Day. All kids will get a six-foot growth chart poster featuring Todd Hundley and his daughter Heather, courtesy of the Gap. Be here when the Mets take on the Arizona Diamondbacks. For tickets, call 718-507-TIXX. Show up at Shea for Gap Growth Chart Day. Back here at Shea in the first game of our doubleheader. Mets with a 1-0 lead. Making it up in the RBI single by Piazza in the first. Now Alfonso Olerud and Piazza coming up here in the third. That's a three and three on the year against the Rockies. That's in the wild card race. Will not be playing Chicago again. They've already finished up their schedule against the Cubs. They do, however, have four games against the Dodgers, who are still in the race, although starting to fall away, and three against the Giants during the upcoming West Coast trip. Edgardo hitting a 272, drew, oh, was hit by a pitch. First time up. 3-0 count on him here. <laughs> Grooves the fastball, three and one. Butch Husky has been out of the lineup with that hamstring problem. Was scheduled to come off the DL today, available to do so, but uh, Butch will not come off the DL. He may go down for a game or two at the minors. He doesn't want to. And the Mets right now aren't sure if they want him to. Alfonso left field, hit it hard. Bichette back, warning track, wall, looking up. Goodbye, home run, Edgardo Alfonso. And the Mets have a 2 nothing lead. have seen Alfonso hit balls out on balls down and in, but rarely have we seen him turn on a ball right at the belly button. Paul Weiner used to say belly button the ball. Well, that's what Alfonso does right here. Sitting outside as man wearing the ball back over the inside part of the plate. One belly button is worth one home run. And one RBI. And the Mets have a 2 0 lead, ninth home run of the year, 58th RBI for Alfonso. And Estacio, that home run ball that's hurt him all year, jumps up again. 28 homers off him. Olerud in into a fielder's choice his first time up, 1 1 pitch to him, off speed foul, straight back, 1 and 2. Gary, I was talking to Frank Funk, the pitching coach of the Rockies, before the game, and he said one thing they're trying to instill, there's Frank trying to instill in Astacio is to be as mean as you've always been. He's hit one guy in this game, but be aggressive. Means a nice word that means aggressive as far as pitching is concerned. One, two, foul back. When with the Dodgers, we saw Astacio and how the reactions you used to get out of him on the mound, he was very intimated, involved in the game, and that he has given up some of that. No longer do we see all of those activities on the mound we used to see from him, just trying to settle him down in that regard. They don't want to lose the aggressiveness. Yeah. Short stop. Nafi Perez goes back to shallow center. We'll haul it in. Olerud retired for the first out here in the third inning. One down. Piazza coming up. had the RBI single in the first inning 71 runs batted in on the year for Mike Piazza and a slow breaking ball up high ball one up 
three eleven is average now. Another breaking ball. This one's in there a little harder that time. One ball, one strike. What Astacio's tried to do this year is changeups not that good. He doesn't have good control over it. So he's, to, he's tried to vary his pitches, speed-wise, with a fastball curveball. That one fouled off on a fastball, one and two. Astacio has ideal fingers with which to throw a curveball. They're long fingers. Most unusually long fingers that I have seen on a pitcher, Sandy Koufax had. Small palms, but very long fingers. And did he ever use them for that curveball? Wicked downer. The best curveball I have ever seen, Sandy Koufax. We're talking about that, Tim. We don't see many of those great curveballs no. anymore. 2 2 reached for it to protect and fouls it off. Or slurve pitches in Major League Baseball now that combined curve slider not the big breaking ball that we used to see which was a staple for pitchers in Major League Baseball over the years. Two two delivery strike three called he got him on a breaking ball on the outside corner. Piazza didn't think so. You're talking about a slurve that was a slurve right there. Astacio drops down. And even though Manwaring caught it low, the ball did appear to have the corner. Tough pitch. Tough. We'll see the effect on Piazza. Brian McRae swings and misses. McRae flied out to right field his first time up. Stasia now with a walk and four strikeouts in the game. 0 1 delivery. Fastball off the fist, third or short. Perez says, I've got it. Nafi Perez puts it away, and that will do it. But the New York Mets had another run on a hit. The leadoff homer number nine on the year for Edgardo Alfonso on the swing back after this from Nissan. Back by popular demand, the Nissan early model year-end clearance has been extended. Right now, with every new 98 Nissan in America, get an amazing $2,000 customer cash or 0% APR financing like a new Maxima, a new Pathfinder, or a new Quest, and get $2,000 customer cash or 0% APR. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Visit a Nissan retailer today and choose your Nissan. This $2,000 or 0% APR offer absolutely ends August 31st. Uh, hello, John. This is Mr. Griffin. I mean, Mr. Griffin, this is John. Uh... The uh, reason... Uh, Let's face it, you're not always clear on a cellular that, phone. Uh, my daughter and I, I mean, uh, your daughter and I... But now uh, there's Sprint PCS, uh, well, the only uh, nationwide I mean, all-digital network for a new level of clarity. I want to marry your daughter. That's very nice. What number are you calling? Five, five.